Texas offense allowed you to double down in 2023 and have another good year? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, just we had that chip on our shoulder, and one of our big things was culture. Uh, we played for one another, not not playing for ourselves. Uh, Sark had a saying, team success bring individual success. So that uh, our team success helped me get to where I'm at today, so I'm thankful for the teammates I had. JT, what does it say about the Cowboys done that all time in Baltimore this week? Oh, yeah, it, it says a lot. Uh, like I said, our culture is what helped us get here. Uh, if you look at our year one, we went 5-7 and seven to making it to the college football playoff, putting Texas back on the map. It's, it's a great thing, just playing for one another, uh, going out there, dominating, having fun with our brothers, playing for one another, having success. Uh, just going out there being yourself, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to put on a fake face for nobody. Going out there and be yourself will always be the best version. Oh, yeah. You said formal? Uh, I think I had a lot of teams, actually. I can't think of everybody. I had a lot, though. Uh, Chiefs, Baltimore, Chicago, Cincinnati, Chargers, uh, Saints. Uh, who else? Miami, a lot more. Uh, they they like my vertical passing ability. At the uh, they they can see I can have success at the next level. But I definitely need to work on my run blocking game to be a, a true tight end at the next level for sure. Uh, it was it was great meeting Mike McDaniel. Like you know how you see him on TV, he a real cool guy, laid back guy, and uh, he's he's like that in person. So it was, it was a great experience meeting him and, and talking to them. Oh, I, I would love to be in there. I know what I, I would have success. They would set me up for success. So I'd love to be a Miami Dolphin. Just being a part of Sark's offense, I knew he was going to set me up for success one way or another. And then uh, before he got the job, you know, he had a, a great national championship game. They dominated. So I just wanted to be a part of that offense. No, sir, I did not. Uh, it, it was a great feeling, you know. They make they make the hard throws look easy, and I feel like Quinn's been doing that since high school. That's why he had so so much success in it. Uh, me and Quinn have been cool since, since high school, so we've always had a, a true connection. Oh, it, I, I feel like it went pretty well. Great, actually. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, uh, it was definitely our culture, you know what I'm saying? Playing from one another, playing, being selfless, not selfish, you know what I'm saying? And our culture is really what helped us take that leap from five and seven to putting Texas back on the map, making it to our first college football playoff. So it all plays a part in itself. Is there anything that you feel that Just being a part of his offense, you know, at, at tight end in his offense, you got to do a little bit of everything, run blocking, uh, learning every concept from X spot, Z spot, Y spot, H spot. Pass pro and it's run blocking, so it kind of helped me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, with guys like AD and X on the outside, and a guy like Jonathan Brooks in the backfield, uh, just you just when your number gets called, by you just got there, go out there and make your plays and play for one another. You know what I'm saying? Do your job. Oh yeah. Uh, so if I was like, if I was open on a play and Quinn missed me, I just I, I wouldn't make a big deal. I'd just go back and tell him like, if he was to go back to this play, just keep an eye on me. Like, keep me in your vision. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I feel like that's one of my my strengths as a tight end. And then uh, my catch rate is. If you look at my catch, I didn't have no drops this past season. So I feel like that's one of my strengths for sure. Mm. Probably just a, a corner or a post because I know if Quinn puts it up, to, up top, I'm coming down with that for sure. John Tate Cook, actually. Uh, you know, uh, he, he had a dominant high school career, and when, when he gets his opportunity, I know he's going to go out there and make his plays for sure. Oh, uh, I feel like he's a miniature Zay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, getting to play under Zay his freshman year and just look at the things Zay did. Uh, I feel like that's how Stark's going to use him as well. He got, the, he got the play speed, he got the catch radius, he got the hands, he has the IQ, has the smartness, all that. 
Oh, X for sure. X, he blown both of us out the water, in my opinion. <laughs> hopefully, a, hopefully a low four six. Uh, just doing something nobody has did in 20 years, going to Tuscaloosa and, and beating them by double digits, and just having the opportunity to do that and being the last team that will ever do that. So it was a great experience. Um, just our fans, you know what I'm saying? Like playing at DKR, it's, it's a, it gives you chills just running out that tunnel, hearing 105,000 people screaming the Texas Fight song. It's, just, it's, it's an unreal experience. Definitely, I try to emulate my game about the Travis Kelsey for sure. If you look at his film, he understands defenses, understands leverages, and just understands coverages. That was why he has so much success at the next level. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I feel like I, I can create mismatches everywhere where I'm lined up on a number one spot, hand in the ground, at the slot, because I get a, a slower linebacker or a slower safety, and I know I'm going to win for sure. Oh, yes, sir. For, for me to uh, be a true tight end at the next level, I, I don't have a choice but to take pride in that. So that's been one of my main focuses going on to the next level is working on my run blocking for sure. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, just going out there and being able to manhandle somebody is, is, is just, it's just make you feel good about yourself. Uh, when, when Sark got the job, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said earlier, uh, him coming out that national championship win, I seen I was too big to play receiver in his offense, but just, just big enough to play tight end, so I knew I was going to be tight end for sure. No, sir, I did not. Oh, I got to say Steiner Ranch Steakhouse, for sure that. One of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it kind of all plays into one, you know, hand placement, footwork. You know, you take different footwork for different uh, defensive techniques, where it's a nine tech, seven technique, six technique. So I feel like that all kind of plays a part. I'm just part of working on small parts at a time, which helped me overall. JT, how have you seen Arch kind of grow up in a year? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Arch came on the canvas with a, like a Manning, you know what I'm saying? He came in with the mindset of a Manning. He's been dominant since he came in, had a great, had a great fall camp. I can't wait to see what he's going to do in the future. Uh, Andy Reid and Nick Sirianni for sure. Uh, Andy Reid's a funny guy. He's a cool, down to earth guy, just just like Sirianni. They understand football, and I feel like they understand me as well. Coverage. Uh, I'm gonna say none of them. I dominate all of them, but they know it's all love, though. They know it's all love. <laughs> I, I feel like he went pretty great. I feel like they, they love me. They they feel like they see potential in me, for sure. What do you think about working with Caleb Williams? Oh, I, I feel like I would be his number one target if we was a pair on the same team. He, he likes big boy targets. I know he going to throw it up to me where only I can get it. No, sir, I did not. No, sir, I did not either. Definitely Baylor, for sure. I feel like that was my best overall complete game throughout the season. Uh, you know, it was fun playing in the Big 12. Uh, Big 12 is one of those conferences where anybody can beat anybody. And I'm glad Texas and OU is going to the SEC. Now we can show, we can assert true dominance. Oh, it's a great feeling, you know, just going through a, one hell of a season with our teammates and then uh, just experiencing all our success together. It's a great feeling, you know, coming in with Jonathan Brooks and Byron Murphy from day one, our freshman classes, just seeing us, our development, our growth together, it's just an amazing feeling. Oh, that's a good question. Honestly, I've always, I always feel like I've been just a better Offensive player and then defensive player. I've just, I was just an athlete in high school who just, just rushed the passer. All I did was just bull rush people or just use 
Yeah, all I did was just bull rush people or just spin move out people. So it was just, I think just a, uh, understanding the, how defensive ends play helped me make a, uh, become a better tight end for sure. Um, not really. It really came down to the last, the last minute for me. Uh, I was just praying to God and talking with my family about it after that loss of Washington. I was just talking to my parents about it, and ultimately we just came to the decision that would be best for me and my family for the future. Yeah, that, that's yes, sir. That's why I said I took it to the last minute for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I did too. I went two for three. I went. Yes, sir, I did. <laughs> Who has reached out to or has reached out to you this process? Uh, former teammates like Demarvion Oshawn, B. John Robinson, Keandre Colburn. You know what I'm saying? Just. Asking them for guidance, they they went through this the same thing. They've been standing up here just like I was last year, just asking them for advice and and understanding. Uh, he said, just just grind, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's gonna be a hassle the first couple of days, but the fun part will, will come eventually. Yes, sir. I did. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't do neither. Yeah, they didn't have me do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did for sure. Nah, but I, I I can I can tell when they set me up though for the spin move though. Yeah, yeah. They they try to get on your outside shoulder to make you jump outside and spin inside. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, probably uh that big play I had against Mama. When I uh, had like a 60-yard game, whatever that was, and uh, a Baylor game, I had like an RPO, and I, I caught it one hand with the defender on my back and, and broke for 30, 40 yards. Uh, so we have two two deep posts on the outside, and we run, we ran so many like deep crosses where, with me running it, so I just I sailed the deep cross, put my foot in the ground, took it high. We call it the thumb route. Oh, just just the RPO. Uh, just running a pin pull play into their boundary with. Uh, trips to the field. I, I seen his main coverage is isolated on that uh, that sent or that uh, that star defender. Uh, my vertical passing ability, you know, be able to create mismatches, whether that's against a, a slower linebacker or a slower safety, lining up at the one spot, two spot, just creating mismatches all over the field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure, my run game, they've been picking at. Uh, you know, I'm still, this is, my, this is my only my third year playing tight end, blocking with my hand in the ground, so I'm still getting used to it, and I have a lot of work to do in my run game aspect. Uh, they definitely love my vertical my vertical passing ability. Like, I'm a, I'm a threat wherever I line up for the per, uh, vertical passing ability, for sure. How do you feel about the future of your long? Future of your long? I feel good about them. I'm glad they got in the SEC. I know they're going to go out there and dominate. Hook them. <laughs>